हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बी एफ एस सी फिशरीज ऑनलाइन क्लास टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द ऑर्नामेंटल फिशेज द ऑर्नामेंटल फिश प्रोडक्शन एंड देयर मैनेजमेंट सो इट इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट माइट कैन हेल्प यू इन द जे आर एफ एग्जाम एंड ऑल्सो फॉर द सेमेस्टर एग्जाम विच यू आर गोइंग टू गिव सो लेट्स टॉक लाइक वी विल बी गोइंग इन um brief about the ornamental uh, fishes there are some important points that you should remember like a uh, first appeared in uh, china that is 800 bc that is before christ it is ha- first appeared and it was first appeared in china so this points are important to learn we know that ornamental fish keeping is emerging as the most popular hobbies across the india so we have to know that uh, from where it has started so it is started from china so uh, it may come in your exam so you should know about this so it is also known as the living jewels aquarium name has been first given by the english naturalist that is henry goes in 1853 so these are important point to remember uh, we know that what is aquarium aquarium is actually a container that is made up of glass or something like glass walls which permit easy and prolonged period of watching of aquatic animal if we are keeping in uh, that then we sh- we can take care of them we can see the activity of the fishes we can give a uh, food to them at proper time if it is transparent so uh, we can take care of them properly so ideal size of the aquarium is the uh, important point that uh, what will be the what should be the aquarium size so it will be 50 into 30 into 30 cm so these are the uh, ideal size it is not compulsory that this size is only uh, we should keep we can keep the bigger size also but uh, if you are keeping the bigger size aquarium it will be expensive and uh, we should have take care of the large aquarium it will be also attractive uh, there is no doubt but it uh, but it needs proper management and we uh, can face uh, it is like difficult to manage and all but they are expensive that's why accommodation like uh, what is the ideal size and what can be accommodation for it so 6 to 8 number of fishes can be kept in 25 to 30 um, mm size of goldfish or guppy so in this chapter ornamental fish production what uh, important points should be remember is like what are ornamental fishes and how the aquarium started uh, like aquarium keeping from where it is started and uh, who has started first what is aquarium what uh, uh, who gave the first uh, aquarium name and uh, what are the ornamental fishes like you should be knowing about the uh, aquarium like uh, in that these are marine ornamental fishes uh, fresh water ornamental fishes the thing is that you should know that what are the types of ornamental fishes okay and fresh water fishes marine water ornamental fishes then brackish water ornamental fishes uh, like we have to know about all the categories now uh, what are the categories of aquarium aquarium can be of two types uh, no uh, according to the category they are almost of two three types uh, like if we are keeping uh, Uh, like we are constructing it then it can be uh, in frame or it can be of glass aquarium so these this image is of glass aquarium and for the frame we can see the image that is frame aquarium and uh, if we are keeping the ornamental fishes if it is fresh water then there will be separate uh, fresh water brackish water or can be marine water also on the basis of temperature also there can be different type of aquarium like cold water warm water and all the other thing is conditioning like if we are keeping the ornamental fishes then we should uh, know what is conditioning and how it is done so it, first thing is uh, conditioning is done when we are to transport the fishes like uh, during the transport conditioning is done it is so to manage the uh, ornamental fishes like uh, it is done for other fishes also not necessarily that it is done for the 
ornamental fishes only like what is happening here during transport it is done and aquarium fishes are conditioned before getting into and it is to reduce the temperature to minimize the metabolic rate and oxygen consumption so these are done but uh, when we are replacing the water in aquarium also then also conditioning is done for the water like uh, we cannot give the aquarium tap water because it may contain chlorine so we need to condition uh, it for some time so we uh, keep them for a day and then we can use that water for the aquarium so this is called as conditioning like we have to maintain the uh, temperature or uh, chlorine content of that water and then only we can place it in the aquarium so these are conditioning now the other thing is cloudiness and greeniness in fish aquarium like if we are keeping the fish aquarium we need to change the water if you are not having the aerator filter and all you need to change the water in uh, 15 days or maybe 30 days and if you are having it uh, you need to change but not uh, in 15 or 30 days you can uh, take 2 or 3 months also but uh, sometimes there is greeniness in fish aquarium so what we can do is we can place one or two large fresh water muzzle in it and the muzzle is uh, is filter feeding uh, so it will reduce the uh, bacteria and whatever there is greenish substance they will all replace it means they will eat all that and thus the water will be like what uh, it is earlier so these are important point to remember the other thing is what are the difference between the clams the mussel and the oyster so in the image you can see the first images of mussel mussel are of irregular shape but the clams are of regular shape it will have both the um, it means like both the shell will be of equal size in the mussel it will not so it is having bisel thread and the irregular shape will be of oyster you can see in the image also so these are the difference between the muzzle clams and the oyster so uh, this uh, sessile will be the muzzle but uh, clams will not uh, be sessile so these are the important point to remember then is uh, what are the types of the aquarium fish aquarium fish can be fresh water the brackish water and then it will be of marine ornamental fishes so if you are keeping the aquarium fishes you need to keep the plants aeration should be there there should be filter so if we are uh, talking about the location it should be kept uh, where it is sunlight we, no you cannot keep in the direct sunlight sometime it is uh, beneficial also like a location but sometime it will be go harmful so minimum of 2 hours it is okay but you cannot keep it whole day in sunlight and the direct sunlight and the bed for the aquarium should be of sand then plant we should keep because plant provide aeration and also if for the decoration purpose you can uh, give plants in the aquarium you can keep the valesnaria ceratophyllum hydrilla vertis ceratum ceratophyllum irio phylum these are all plants we can keep so uh, aeration for the uh, aeration purpose you can keep the air bubbles the porous stones and all air pumps blower sprays are all essential for aeration then is temperature temperature is also very uh, beneficial for the aquarium fishes they need a proper uh temperature for the uh, like we if you are keeping the tropical aquarium fishes then it needs 20 to 30 degree celsius temperature and the thermostats uh, are also necessary then feeding uh, for the feeding of the fishes you need to give the feed also uh, live feed are uh, use matlab uh, like live feeds are valuable but uh, like a daphnia cyclops but you can also feed them like a uh, granulated feed are also useful diet should be brine shrimp white worm blood worm they are all given to the fishes then is filtration filtration can be of uh make biological mechanical or chemical but biological will be most beneficial for the aquarium fishes and uh, you can also give a trickle filter ceramic media bio balls and all these will be useful
so if we are talking about the aquarium fishes type first is the fresh water you need to remember all the names like black moly guppy tetra angel fish kissing gurami gold fish dwarf striped or golden blue gurami these are the name of the gurami zebra fish x hellery x maculatus gold fish then is blackish water fishes like pearl spot orange chromidae puffer fish needle fish glass fish and all then the further marine water ornamental fishes water marine ornamental fishes they are clown fish moorish idol butter fish fire fish trigger fish silver moony rays squirrel fish lion fish damsel fish surgeon fish and hawk fish these are the important points to remember so in the next class we will be talking about the resources of the ornamental fishes the types of ornamental fishes and their breeding behavior and all so these are uh, important for the exam point of view so if you are watching thanks for watching and please do like subscribe and continue watching thanks uh, thank you everyone thank you